look at that it smells so nice it smell you want to stay here you want to sleep here you know it's beautiful and healthy wow she's one of the most hardworking women in nakauka village that i've seen wakes up every morning and then come harvests all this in her plant in her plantations to harvest and take care of her family it's beautiful hello welcome to my youtube channel maria Eob again today i bring you another special lady who is a farmer she has seen her family grow from, gra from grass to grass yeah she has seen her family go from grass to grass through farming she's a very hard-working woman she rest that she's right there behind taking a phone call but she's she has impressed me she has three different kind of plantations that she she's working or she works to to make her family um get a living right now we are in her huge plantation of rose mill oh my god if you are in here you'd want to sit here and take in the cool aroma of the rose mill the wind is blowing and the rose mill is bringing in that beautiful ar aroma so rose mill is very essential and it's a hub it's a hub that is used for on, on, on some um that is used on some sick on some diseases remedy and also it's, uh, it's used for spice for spices so she's going to take us through on how to farm or plant and take care and harvest healthy and high quality rose mill please join us as we interview her while she's taking us through her daily routine activity on different types of plants that she has she has rose mill she has miller and she has eggplants so let us let us watch and learn thank you Mama Eva ngansa nsokula banyabo. Kali nyabo. Wasi zoti ya. Akasana okalaba. Akasana kaka na nyenye nkuba tujifuna. Nyenye nkuba nyingi. Mhm. Weba le kulima ngoli mawagazi. Badange mama Eva leto ze mulisukula mama Eva. Ye muli mchala mulimi alima mira amayirunja gana tubulire wachigakola. Naye tsinze okumtwala no kunsanyisa gwe musiri gwe ogwa Rosemary. I know Rosemel, I love it, Kabulunji, I need it, I healthy. Eh? Muchala unogola ba, muchala mulimi, muchala mukozi, muchala musanyufu, mwe gomba. Kakati ndese story ye, uh, tunafumwa bala mtubolo kulachi, oku, 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 Mama Eva, kacho no Rosemel wapanga chi? No Rosemel wa miezi mukaga. Miezi mukaga. Wow. Chilegezanti wa mori mamu wa msiba mu January. So kemba ise msiri wa rosemil. Mumu la babu anidida. This is how beautiful the rosemil is. She's a farmer of rosemil and many more other plants that we are going to see. She's a hardworking lady. So beautiful and hardworking that I admire her and want to be like her. And so kula ba. Banda ange rosemil inga anidida. Haba chala mu yigo kuli. Mwau singo bada na odi naka owo. Balai kacau aku aku la sedih bu 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 obu ana oba nsigo obu parking ye obu tono kati kubanga sebelah bangga kon sigo kati simani do wasa aku pula aku no benyi muka buat buat cha eh buat buat kalau gun di stem emi 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 kubanga kati jango la bi kani Kukakwa Wanene, munene. Nenga Rosemary ina katari. Ina katari. Hmm. Wanga. Hmm. Batu gamba antino. Hmm. Bo muri ma. Hmm. Bo yonge lo kumuri ma. Hmm. Naka tere bo yonge lo kumuri ma. Naka tere bo yonge lo kumuri ma. Naka tere bo yonge lo kumuri ma. Hmm. Kacifeh, 
oba katale kali tengera sawo mm. ate abetengera ku office nabo bakanonya bakanonya bagenda india mm. ne bagenda china mm. okunonya ya katale katale ka rosemary katale ka rosemary migaso chije tujja mu rosemary rosemary ayamba chiku bantu bali watamumanyi nze nyumira right now nyumira ka wowo ke na manyi ntiba mtaka kuchayo bana ku mmere ne mu mucere ne mu mucere Rosemary Well, guys, like you can listen, she's saying rosemary has a lot of benefits. You know, it is medically used. It is um, home wise used for food, like you can spices for your food, like rice sauce. You can even spice it on your tea. But basically, she says um, there is market for rosemary. There is a general market in Chengera who look for international market. So they started small. They started small on a, uh, on a small profile because they needed to know how it's going to be so that they can expand with, with time. That's if demand comes in. But I'm telling you, I'm right here. And the smell, the aroma is so beautiful. The aroma for rosemary, you just want to be here and sleep. Mm. <laughs> She said one needs three feet from each other, from each plant. So if you're to plant in, you plant it in rows and you make sure there is a space of three feet from each plant. You don't need manure to grow rosemary and you don't need to spray. The only thing you need to do is soften the land. Clear the land first, make it soft. Let the weed that you clear the land bury them. Dig well burying them. They make natural manure and that's enough. And add and um, water it. It needs water when it's just grown. Constant watering so that it can grow and give you and give you uh, it can grow and give you good plants and healthy plants as you can see in the video also she said it doesn't matter whether it rain fall or sunshine any weather is good weather for rosemary growth as long as you give it good good care from the start weed prepare the land make it soft and clean then plant your seedlings in it and she says there is market from the association that is in Rosemary Association in Chingela who looks for international market in India and China. So you can have you can contact them when the rosemary is uh, uh, mature enough, and they'll come buy rosemary and sell it for you at a very very good price.
Mama Rose is a mother in Yamujaho, Mama Eva, Mother Mama Rose, Rosemary, Cathy, or Jagal and Badins of Yambe or to Onyola Bantina Batilaba. Bobanga, or Montuya Gombing, I and Yagombi, or Quagala, or who turned the Kamus to the Rosemary. Eh, Chimueta Bisachi, Eda, Bichilla, and Jenna Kiano Kuitam, or Tandika, or take our city, or take our own city. Cathy, Bobo Simba. Soka kuyuwa moto sini chini. Mchini yam. Kuyuwa moto ampekezi. Emu. Emu. Hmm. No ukoto zamu sigo. Aha. No ukoto zamu sigo. Na ye. Obo ino kulava. Etakedo teridi. Tibadde teridi mubu ka. Hmm. Hmm. Kuba. Hmm. Fetetoa mani rao. Obo mubu akala ola demu ebi nyonga bi bifu. Hmm. Hmm. Mubu akala obo mu. Rokuba ngamali mubu ka. Aha. Mali mubu ka. Hmm.
Experimenting a mother jukola. Look at this. So beautiful. Consistency. Kulemerako. E kachoraba. But then ti demo. Neo mazo chogi la jangula bebo gamen to no yakala abe wakala abeda kuzi. But then yenda kujan unku wuze. Nti rachi ya food day. Aba kuzi. Ready to harvest. Wow. Era to lindi did de katali. To lindi did do lindo was a coma weekend. A coma ya gamba come off Friday. A very good Wow. So guys, what she's trying to say is that being dry at first I was wondering, thinking it was affected by the pests. But she's saying this is a sign of showing that this plant is mature and ready for harvest. There are many of them right now. She said the section up is ready for harvest and the section down here is just upcoming. 
So she's waiting this week probably, actually this very day, the buyer, the trader is coming back from China from looking for the, that's where they export them. So he will come and take the ripe ones. So this is her first, her first plantation and she's going to do her first selling. So big up to her and congratulations to her. So that means when the buyer comes, they will not take the dry ones because the rose milk is dried in the house without the sun. If it dries on the plantation, it means the vitamin, um, the minerals in it has withered by the sun. So they'll only cut the green part and dry it from inside. Yes, so woo, this is it. Who wants to be a farmer, Rosemary farmer here? <laughs> oh my God. Mm. Mm. Research. So, I take a cut in the moon's jacum city. Moon's jacum city. Mkama singana about you and be one of us. O covestinga, or no pita. Let's smell. Nay, when man from your baga, a rosemary and a lang and funny, they tumble, the Gabagam, but where can we find this lady? To put up another number, Janata damage in a savings. Eh, I am telling you, Janata damage in a savings. Right now, we are in the process of. Um, this, these are the seeds. What you're looking at right now is the seed. This is exactly something like this she planted to get a huge plantation that she has right now. So I'm going to take this also, do what she said she did, and also get a beautiful flower, a beautiful scent eh? like she has in her garden. <laughs> Not only she not only does rosemary, but she also has a huge plantation of bananas here. So she does pla banana planting that she sells matoke. You know, look how healthy they are. She buys, she doesn't waste money on buying food. She doesn't lack, and then she can never miss money to take her children for medicine. There is, she's assured there is always food at home. This is another plantation of hers where there is potatoes for both subsistence and commercial. So she's wealth. Right now, I've even told her that I admire her because of her strength. Look how the plantation, at least there is a stock of food in here. She can be assured that she can feed her kids from January up to December without starving. So most of us stay home and wait to eat, grab, but this lady is a hard-working one. So today we are documenting Rosemill and you've seen the benefits and the importance and the process of growing Rosemill. So um, the next part we shall be showing you the Mira. She has another garden of Mila that is Vajita uh, Um <clears throat> Because she's a mixed farmer. She do mixed farming, so there is a lot on her plate and a lot to learn from her. So let's stop here for today. We'll be back tomorrow to go and know and learn about how she harvests and plants and sells and benefits from planting Miller. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. Leave a comment of what you think about this video. Share.
and always come back to view. May God bless you. See you around.